The Serial Bus Display plugin is provided complimentary with the GoLogic XL software. The raw serial bus signals are captured and processed by the main software, which then passes the converted serial bus values to the waveform window and the serial bus plugins for display. In this example, I have a CAN and a LIN bus, which were captured at the same time and displayed together in the waveform window. You can see the raw signals alongside each converted serial bus packet. The serial bus display plugin, however, shows these bus values in a condensed text format which favors printing and exporting to a text file. You're really not interested in the low-level signals or their behavior when viewing the data with the Serial Bus Display plugin. Let's bring up Plugin Manager here. And I've activated two copies of the Serial Bus Display plugin. The first copy displays the LIN bus, and the second copy displays the CAN bus. And when I click on the Done button, we can see both of these plugins. Here's the LIN Serial Bus Display plugin, and here's the CAN. And these will all scroll together unless you set up the uh, plugin option so that they don't scroll together. If the Serial Bus has a protocol, such as I2C, CAN, or LIN, then each packet is displayed on a single line, which can be expanded to view more details about individual values. So in this CAN packet, I know that I have at least four values, but we can expand it out and look at all eight data values. Now at the top of, and this is documented in the help file uh, in full details, but we can wrap the data values at a larger value. So now you see eight data values here in the data column. Now the window has gotten wider, of course, and most of this CAN data, for example, does not have more than eight uh, values in a packet. In fact, I didn't see any that didn't have more, more than that. But if I expand it out, you'll see that the data line now has eight data values wrapped onto one line. It had one of these packets had 16 or 32 values in the packet, then this would have been written on multiple lines at eight bytes per line. The expand all and collapse all buttons at the top of the serial bus display window expands and collapses all packets in the captured da trace data. So I can go to the LIN plugin and expand all the lines, and then I can collapse them all. If the Serial Bus has no protocol, such as a UART, SPI, or raw bit streams, the Serial Bus Display plugin shows the converted values as columns. I'll open an SPI example project here. There it is. And the purpose of this is to demonstrate the generic serial bus display mode. And here we have the MOSI and the MISO. This is one bus. Uh, a UART or a bitstream would only have one column of data. Now if I wrap these at eight bytes per line, the block, each block of data will have eight bytes per line. And you'll notice the number of lines has shrunk. There's not very many uh, bytes, data bytes in this trace capture. But this allows you, one byte is just showing you the data in a top-down linear form, and you can wrap the data at two or four and so forth. But there's no expand and collapse for the packets because there are no packets in the protocol. The next video describes how custom plugins can be created using the Plugin Development Kit.